Hi there, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I am here to do a video that was requested. So on um, Monday, I think, this last week, I shared um, the samples that I made for the Julia McNeil Crafts um, Hochanda show, which was... Um, sharing a load of projects I made using Lovely Lashes Edna, this stamp set here, and also Royston, who is, Royston's having a rest, he's chilling out, he always looks a bit stressed. So one of the cards I made had two Ednas, it had this version of Edna and also the mirror image, and I said if anybody wants to see how I did that reverse stamping that I would make a video, so I think a few people requested it, so here I am today. Now, I'm going to share that there is probably a better way to do this, but this is just how, see this earphone still dropping out? This is how I have um, muddled along and had a go. So um, what I use for it is a bit of old packaging. So I've got, I always keep the um, acetate, is it? The plastic packaging anyway that dyes and things come in and I, if it's not too scratched, I use it in shaker cards or whatever, but this one is quite scratched as sometimes happens. So, um, I wonder if I should put a bit of paper underneath that. Let me do that. A bit of card underneath. So, this is the lovely Edna on my dirty stamp block. Um, and normally, when I'm stamping to use my alcohol inks, I use this um, Memento Tuxedo Black. Now, the only reason that I'm not using it for this demo is that this my ink is not very juicy. I've had it for quite a long time and it's fine. I stamped this version of Edna earlier so that she would be nice and dry for me to colour her in. But... Um, what I've found works best for this is if it's the ink is quite juicy and sits on the surface for a little minute to let me stamp it, restamp it if you know what I'm going to, well hopefully you'll know what I mean. So I've been using this VersaFine Onyx Black just because I've used it less and it's a much juicier um, version. So that's what I've been using. So I've just got some wee bits of card cut out and ink and I'm going to show you what I do. It comes with this little bit and I somehow always keep it on it. Now I'll be honest I often don't get this right the first time and I have to kind of play about a wee bit so I'm just going to stamp Edna up like that. I'm going to pop her onto this. The challenge is she wants to slide about a wee bitty. So I try and not let her and then I just pop the card on top and I pat that and try and pick up that ink. Do you know what? That's not bad for a first shot. I've missed a bit of the top of her though. I've obviously not pressed hard enough on that. So that is not a problem. I will just go again. So this would just have ended up in the bin anyway. Um, let me try it here. See, it tries to kind of move about. There we go. Let's see how that is. Make sure I get all the corners. There we go, that's a bit better. So you will see, it is not as sharp an image as when I stamp it the right way up. However, actually, when it's all coloured in, and I'm going to show what I do to um, kind of make sure it doesn't look like the, the sad sister, um, 
and hopefully you'll agree that actually it looks okay. So I'm going to put those aside because what I've done is I've stamped these already and this one I coloured in to see if you're watching me doing lots of colouring. So maybe I will colour up this one and then I will tart that, tart that one up so that it... I'm going to move that nice bit of card out of the way and just stick this, this wee scrappy bit here. So I'm going to give Edna a nice yellow beak and I'm using my um, my trusty Spectrum Noir tri-blend markers. Let's check them in, yep. Um, I've had these a little while, I must say they do run out of ink. Um, the colours that I use a lot I do find they run out of ink but you know what nothing's perfect is it now this one what color will i do her in i might go for this hydrangea blend um now i am no expert in coloring with alcohol markers i have actually purchased a few or a subscription to the Kit and Clouder, because I'd love to learn what you're actually supposed to do. Um, so if you see things that you're doing that I'm doing that you think, oh no, that's not how you that's not how you should be colouring, then you're probably right. Um but Put a little shady under the beak. Oh, I can see I'm making it wobble a wee bit. Sorry about that. I hope you don't feel too seasick. I am. Um, I'm on my new desk. Well, new to me. Um. My husband has been working from home for more than a year now and um, in his office at work he has a standing desk so he treated himself to a standing desk and um, so this desk that I'm now on is his old desk um, so it's much bigger my old desk was one Everything's Ikea, obviously. <laughs> what would we do without Ikea? But the, the one I had only had two legs and it hooked on to the, um, the unit at one side and I um, moved my furniture around too much. and it, So it didn't hook on very well and I spent half the day shoving it to keep it hooked on so that it didn't collapse with the weight of all my crafty things. Um, so this one is is just got legs. It's not attached in, to anything else. It doesn't rely on any other bit of furniture, and it's deeper and wider. So it's. I'm hoping that this will allow me to be a bit more tidy than I've been. Sometimes, but who knows? You can't you can't make too many crazy promises. Now, what colour will I make the flower? What about this kind of pink? It's called Magenta Blend. So I'll give a bit of the dark colour. And then finish off with the light. And then I always forget these curls, so that was with the hydrangea. And I just go like that. And then maybe add a little colour to that eye. So 
Let's see. Maybe I will give this Edna some brown eyes and Mirror Edna is going to have blue eyes. Oops. So now you're going to see that one Edna does look sharp her and better to find but what I've been doing anyway on my Edna's is I have been going over the pupils of the eyes with this black just a black pen this one is Graf Peps my pad. I don't know where I got that from but it was probably cheap and cheerful and do you know what? I've used it a lot. Admittedly, it's not for big surface areas, but... So, I quite often go over her eyes like that. Especially because my... As I was saying, my memento ink is not really that juicy now. And then I'm just going to give her lashes, a little coat of mascara there like that. So that is that one. So this one, I'm just going to do the same. I am going to go over the pupils, which are a wee bit patchy because of that. It's like the second layer of stamping. There we go. Just like that. Um, That should go up there. I'm going to go over the lashes too. There we are. Now the other thing that's not as defined is on the stamp, Julia's done these lovely little squiggles so if I want to just highlight those I can like so and then I feel like I've kind of missed out a little bit of the yellow here so I'll just colour that in there so now the other elements of the stamp set are the frame which I have already stamped Coloured in with this kind of rainbow effect and cut it out and the little heart. So I've coloured one of those too. I think the white hasn't come out really clear on that. I just want to pick up those highlights a wee bit. Here we are. So I'm going to fussy cut out Edna. Edna 1 and Edna 2. Definitely not that fantastic at fussy cutting, but I'm sure there is people shouting at their screen saying no. I just have a go with it.
Okay, so there is Edna. And now Edna's twin. What should, what should we call the, the twin? Should it be the reverse? So if Edna is in reverse, Andy. So this is Andy. what I mean <laughs> definitely not a fantastic fussy cutter but I can I can get by That you are all having a lovely weekend. The sun is shining here, although it was really cold, and um, my hubby went away to play golf bright and early, and the car needed defrosted for the first time in ages. I feel partly to blame because we did just tidy away the um, the antifreeze that was been in the hallway for ages and we thought right let's put that in the garage we'll not need that again this year <laughs> ha ha mother nature thought will you not right you're still living in scotland you know it can be cold so i've just got a little card base here this one is five inches and let me have a little play about so these two are gonna fit in they just fit in. It's almost like one of those, um, like a frame at a wedding that you can take selfies with. Now I think I'm going to use a wee bit of paper behind. This is some of Julia's printables. I think this was maybe December collection. Um, and I'm trying to use up all the little scraps and bits that I have. So... Here's my glue, that one's not very much left in it. So what I'm going to do, if I can get any glue out, is let me see, I think, do I want the big bits on the bottom? I think I want them on the top. And Let me have a wee experiment to fit these two in, like so, and then I can just trim, sorry, well they were beheaded anyway weren't they, I've only just trimmed a bit off their neck, I've not actually decapitated them, that was Julia that did that. <laughs> so now, will that be... I'll do it and then do you know what I might just trim a little bit more so let me sandwich that bit in there and let's pop this on the back Oh, sorry, she go in it again. So there we go with these two. I should have popped a bit of glue underneath those heads. There we go. So now, my card base. And I might pop that heart up there. And I've got the sentiment, sassy but classy. So let me see if I can stamp it on without making a mess on the camera. And again, I'm just going to use my VersaFine because it's a bit juicier. There we go. Thank you. 
lovely and put some glue on on there and a wee heart on the top So that kind of gives it a wee bit of balance. You've got the sentiment that side and the little extra heart there. And so there we go. Sassy but classy on a Saturday morning. I hope that you have enjoyed that and if it's um, it was helpful, as I say, I'm sure there is. There's an official way to do reverse stamping, but that was just what I... I had a bit of a play with what I had and um, it seems to work not too badly. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and say hello in the comments. It makes my day. Have a great weekend. Bye now.